another important feature in the triode region which is really the variable resistance of the transistor so what we will say now is NMOS as variable resistance if VDS is small then the drain source terminals functions as a resistor so what we do here if we have a transistor and here is the transistor here is the source here is the drain and here is the gate in the triad region if VDS is small then this transistor can be modeled as a variable resistance so we're gonna have a resistance and this resistance is from the drain to the source and the variable resistance depends on VGS so by changing VGS I can change the slope of this voltage current relationship that means I can change the resistor so now it is a voltage controlled resistor I can change this resistor by changing the voltage and this is very powerful in fact that's what we have in early technologies when you have an automatic switch in the old days you can change the resistance of the MOS transistor by changing the voltage we call this resistor R on R subscript on so for very small VDS if VDS is much much less than the overdrive voltage the current equation is approximated basically what we do is we ignore the square term then ID can be approximated to be UNCOXW over L times VGS minus threshold voltage times VDS and what we did we ignored the minus one half VDS squared and you should not memorize this equation here you should memorize the main equation and you should know that for small VDS you omit the square term that's something you should know it should make sense to you because VDS is small the square term is omitted and analog engineer should make this assumption as a brave man you should do it as a brave warrior you are a brave warrior in electronics because these are the tactics that we use as analog engineers we make these assumptions to begin with as a first cut approximation we say assume that this is neglected how is the device will behave then if I added the one half VD squared how is the device will behave how much deviation did I have did I make the right assumption is the deviation too much or was I within tolerable error so these are decisions that an analog engineer makes on the spot so now we can define our own what's our own our own is basically VDS over ID that's Ohm's law right the resistance from the drain to the source if it's a resistor the resistance from the drain to the source is VDS over ID this is just a DC condition right so it can be small signal it can be a DC condition VDS over ID is our own and when you do the substitution of the current equation and VDS you can see that the VDS on the top cancels the VDS on the bottom so what you have is 1 over a mu n COX times W over L times VGS minus the threshold voltage VTH and now you end up defining that variable resistance as a function of VGS by changing VGS you change the value of that resistance and this is powerful you can control that resistor and you will be surprised how much advanced technology uses this tactic the resistance in the triad region as a function of VGS so this is the way the transistor works in the triad region